Christmas is just around the corner and while everyone's busy shopping for that perfect present and planning their menus, don't forget to give your garden a little attention too. Mulch not only enhances the look of your garden instantly, which is perfect when you have friends and family dropping around for the holidays, it's also essential for summer gardens in all climates. Mulch to a depth of seven centimetres to reduce weed growth and improve moisture retention in the soil. If you live in an area suitable for growing Brussels sprouts, it's time to start sowing seed. Yes, they're a winter vegetable, but they take 20 to 25 weeks to develop. So if you don't get them in now, they may not have time to develop in time for winter. Seedlings should be planted out in mid to late summer when they're about 12 centimetres tall. I know the summer garden is quite full, but Brussels sprouts don't mind a little shade, so they'll grow well on the southern side of corn or beans at this time of year. Stone fruit is starting to ripen, so it's time to net your trees. There are many different ways to protect your fruit, from individual bags to an entire tree net. Birds are less fussy than us and will often harvest your fruit before you're ready, so net now. Homegrown strawberries are such a treat and production is now in full swing. Pick strawberries early in the day for maximum freshness. Store in a container in the fridge and only wash them when you're ready to eat them. Lastly, with a hot, dry summer predicted, it's a really important time for us to prepare for bushfires. Clean up any debris that might be a fire hazard like branches, um, grass clippings or dried leaves. This is something everyone should do, especially if you live near dense forest, grassland, um, and even along the coast. If you'd like to know more about what to do in your growing zone this season, please check the Diggers website for more details.